everyone rj here welcome back to the channel uh and welcome back to another live stream now the last one didn't go so great so i'm going to try this all over again and hopefully this will be a better live stream than it was the last time and uh, i'm currently this time not using a microphone because i got it sitting right back there unplugged because i'm using a different phone uh last my last live stream i was using the galaxy s24 ultra and uh, that hooks up right to this, but the phone I'm using right now, it may not hook up. So, let's just hope that the uh, stream will be okay and the audio will be just fine uh, and everything else. So, uh, it's late. I know it's late tonight, but I'm hoping that this live stream here, I can actually keep up. And uh, it'll all be good. Hopefully that everything is in frame just right uh, and everything out so this is rj like i said y'all know who i am if y'all have not ever been here before i'm cv tech i'm rj and uh what's up chris how's it going uh good morning to you as well man hope everything's going okay uh how is the stream looking to you how does it sound uh i'm not using my galaxy like i was last time um yeah i don't celebrate that man um but anyway, I've uh, got four people watching so far and already got one like. So thanks so much. Audio and video was great. Awesome. I'm on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Uh, the ring light is behind me. It is set on warm. Uh, here is cool. And here is natural. And back to warm again. So I like it a little bit warmer. Um, I can brighten it up a little bit without hurting my eyes too awful much. So that's what I'm going to do is just keep it just a little bit more bright. Maybe eliminate some of that graininess in the background. So, um, like I said, I did post this to Twitter. Um, uh, what do you mean, Chris? No, I, I'm not sure what happened. On, I'm not sure what happened on my last stream. That wasn't me. So... I'm not really sure what happened on my last stream. That stream has been removed and um, everything in it seems to be a whole lot better and be a whole lot different um, and everything else. So uh, we're gonna discuss um, phones tonight or basically whatever's on your mind, we're gonna discuss. Um, hopefully we can get a few more people in here tonight to talk and to ask questions. Uh, down dirty what's going on it says what do you think about the galaxy well what why am i reading from there for i can just read from my phone and this is the nuts and phone one by the way if you don't know what the nuts and phone is it's awesome because you have this you gotta you gotta you gotta you you, you gotta get the glyph you know what i'm saying so yeah so I'm going to go ahead and pull up my stream real quick light. Uh, hopefully I can find my stream. Normally I can't find it when I'm actually uh, on my channel. But uh, we're going to look for it anyway. So give me just one second and I'll answer your question. So yeah, it's not showing up. So I'm going to go to a different account here. Hang on. Wait a minute. Okay, there it is. There it is skip okay so down dirty says what do you think about the samsung galaxy a25 5g for simple mobile i enjoy your videos well thank you very much i, I appreciate you being here and answering and asking your question um i i was i i had a chance to actually get my hands on an a25 but i kind of blew it a little bit which kind of sucked so I don't have much to say about the A25 as I don't own it. Uh, one phone I will say steer clear of is the A15. Do not buy that phone. I mean, just don't. <laughs> if you want a phone with, with any kind of performance at all, don't buy the A15. But the A25, I don't even know the full specs on it. Um, if, I, if, I, if I do get a chance to get my hands on an A25, I will definitely let you know. Uh, but right now, unfortunately, I just simply have not really been caught up with the new A series of the A55, the A35, 25. Um, so that's one phone right there that unfortunately I cannot answer. 
uh, which kind of sucks, you know, because I, I did want to get my hands on it. Um, but I think it's just a little bit better than, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to speculate. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I was very loopy last stream. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure what happened. I'm not sure if it was a reaction uh, to something. I'm not, I have no idea. But uh, hopefully tonight will be a whole lot different and a whole lot better. And uh, share this stream out if you're on Twitter um, or X or just call it Twix, okay? That's the best way to put it is call it Twix. Twitter, X, whatever. Um, I did share on Twitter that I was going to be going live. I did not put it in the community post, which I may go ahead and do that right. Well, it's not, I don't want to waste much time. I don't want to keep y'all on here hanging, you know, because... Um, but some people get community posts before they'll get notified that I'm actually live. So hopefully, you know, people will actually get notified that I am live and those who are awake. Uh, Love Tech 47. Man, what is up? Yeah, long time no see. How's it going? So I got seven people watching and one like. So hopefully I can see seven likes up there. Um, but I understand. Uh, but, you know, let's go ahead and just keep on here. Does the nothing phone work on, yes, T-Mobile. Um, I have Boost Mobile on T-Mobile and Boost and, and AT&T, and it works fantastic. The nothing phone one works on, uh, it, it will not work on AT&T or Cricket because they're dictators, and they won't allow it on their network unless you kind of like finagle them or whatever. I'm not really sure. But um, if you got like Boost Mobile on the AT&T network, it will work perfect. And it works perfect on T-Mobile. Uh, 5G works great, and the, I know that I know that they have the Nutson Phone 2 and the 2A. I still have the Nutson Phone 1. I'm trying to get into some collaboration with Nothing to review their newer phones and products. Hopefully, that will pan through and that will work out. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. So finger, so yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, will it pick up 5G ultra capacity? That's the thing. I don't know. I have not tried it out in an ultra capacity area, but I will check that out. Okay. I, I do have to go out Monday or Tuesday and I will be in an ultra capacity area. So I will slap my boost mobile SIM card on T-Mobile in this phone and I will check, um, for the ultra capacity and I will run some speed test and I will report back to you. So yeah. Um, I don't see Love Tech on here. Okay. Um, will it pick up? Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, of the name, but I see a ha 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 uh, for t in, in a donation of $2. So shout out for that. So shout out to you. I'm not sure of your name there, but thanks for that donation. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel. Uh, oh, it's Jesse. Okay. 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 Um, thank you for that. I appreciate it. It helps the channel out. It helps me out and helps bring more stuff to the channel. I do got something special coming to the channel. I had no intentions of buying it. It'll be my very first of what I am getting. And I should have it between Monday and Wednesday of next week. So, um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to trying it out. It is a last year model phone. Um, so yeah, but thank you for that. I for sure do appreciate it, Jesse. I just, I just went to Spectrum Mobile. It's very good. I joined the 20 S24 Ultra Club. Hey, S24 Ultra. I'm telling you, this phone is phenomenal. How was your battery life? I'm curious because my battery life sucked, but I did do one little change to it and battery life has been phenomenal. Um, uh, cause my battery life was horrible on this phone. Now, I got the green, the, the the titanium green. You can't really tell it here too much uh, with the light behind it and all, but it is the titanium green, and it's so beautiful of a phone. The gunmetal sides are just, this is an amazing phone, okay? Um, but if but, let's, but let me know how your battery life is. Um, I'm really curious. I'm glad you're not loopy this time. Yeah, just quit bringing that up, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I, I know I was crazy in my last live stream. I have no idea what happened in my last live stream. That live stream was gone and uh, so yeah, this is a whole new live stream and hopefully um, 
that won't happen again. So, uh, have you ever used Walmart's own brand for phone cases? Only one time. Uh, I have a, I had a Samsung Galaxy S9 that it, I didn't care about. It already kind of cracked, and I got like a 488 own case. And it done okay. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, I wouldn't want to drop it from like, you know, I wouldn't really want to, it's going to offer some protection, but it's not going to offer a lot. You can go on Amazon and buy a phone case that costs like 10 bucks. It's going to give you a lot more protection. At first, battery was low, but a couple of charges all good. I had the violet color. I did want the violet color. Unfortunately, when I got, um, I got mine from Samsung directly, and I, and I traded in my 22 Ultra, and to get the $150 extra credit along with my trade-in, I had to pick between the titanium orange, titanium blue, or titanium green. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the violet color was not in the part of the promotion, or I would have definitely bought the violet, because the violet is a beautiful color on 24 Ultra, but I wanted that $150 more than I wanted the violet. So that's why I went with the titanium green. But yeah, my battery was a joke on this phone. I thought when I got this phone right here, after about three or four charges and it was still garbage, I thought, oh no. So I just turned mine into light optimization or in light mode, not like light and dark mode and display, but in light mode for optimization. And it, man, my battery is on day three literally day three right now um and it's still got like 35 percent battery life left so it has been it has gotten phenomenal but there is going to be an update coming out sometime this this month that's going to address some issues with battery life so hopefully that's going to fix the problem with the battery we can actually run it where it's supposed to be running at instead of on light optimization uh, Walmart's version of the OtterBox is pretty good. $22, way cheaper than regular $70 OtterBox. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, for like, I used to have them, them knock off OtterBoxes I bought from Amazon or eBay uh, for the older iPhones, and they were really good quality. Um, but I don't know much about them anymore, if I'm being, if I'm being real with you. And I'm always real with y'all. Y'all know that. So, um, yeah, five watching. Two likes, thank y'all, and hopefully some more will come through and uh, everything else. Um, it looks further away. I look closer right here than I do. Let's just kind of bring this in just a smidge. Maybe I'll pick up my voice a little bit better and a little bit more. You can go two days with heavy usage. Yeah, yeah. Um, with moderate usage, I'm at three days right now on light mode. Uh, light optimization. Sorry, I got a really bad nose itch. So, yeah, this is late at night. So, this is kind of like one of those, yeah, whatever stream. So, um, but yeah, like the title says, you know, uh, Samsung Pixel 1 Plus, and I'm throwing invisible as one of the best, best deals right now in, in, in wireless. Um, you know, if you want to try out visible, um, and you want to just try them out, you don't even got, as long as you got a Verizon compatible phone, you can, you can, it is compatible. You can try out visible for only $5 for your first month. You're not really losing anything but five bucks to try out their network. And my promo code will be down below in the description, but they did it a little bit different this time. Now, whenever you go and do a referral, um, and you push on the link when you get to the checkout page, my referral link will already be in for you, but you got to apply it. If you don't apply it, then you'll be paying $25, but you got to apply it. And then when it's applied, it'll be, it'll say $25 minus 20, making it five bucks. And then you get your SIM card, activate it and try it out for one month. And Hey, if you don't like it, you can get a new number. You can get an eSIM. You can get the physical SIM, and your first month is $5 for their basic plan. So definitely something to think about. You know, I have Visible. I've had them for over two and a half years and been very satisfied other than the low data speeds in my particular area. But, of course, every word's going to be different. I'm hearing from a lot of people in different states, different cities. 
who were actually getting really good speeds and uh, really fast speeds, you know, on, on you know on 5G. You won't get ultra wide band unless you get their most premium plan. But you know, just to, just to try to service out, you know, twenty, you know, five dollars is not bad. Uh, what's up, Mega? How's it going? Did you hear T-Mobile put a one point two terabyte data cap on their home internet service? Well, I mean, if you're using if you're using that much data. I can understand them, you know, putting something on it, but if it says unlimited and it says fully, truly unlimited, it should be unlimited regardless of how much data that you use. But I understand that if you are using that kind of, I mean, 1.2 terabytes, is that what you said? 1.2 terabytes is a lot of freaking data. So, yeah. And I also have my OnePlus 12 right here in this case. And the OnePlus 12 has also been a phenomenal phone as well. 150% recommend this phone. Uh, I miss your rolling live streams. We go way back. Yeah, I, I don't want really to see myself doing those very much anymore, to be honest with you. Um, I may, you know, sometimes do a, you know, a office stream if you know what i mean um to me y'all just been here for a long time knows what i mean um i want to go ahead and say this here i got nine watching and two likes be sure and smash that like button that like button really really helps even if you don't like it just do me a favor and hit that like button it really helps the algorithm with my videos and Lord knows I need all the help I can get on this channel right now. <laughs> so, um, Down Dirty says, would you recommend Samsung Galaxy A series phone over Motorola Moto G Power 2324? You know, I have I have not used the G Power since 2020. You know, the 2023 Moto G Stylus is a phenomenal phone. Um, the G Stylus, I have the 2023 version and I... I got the 21, 22, and 23 version of the G-Stylus. And I would say the G-Stylus is one of the best Moto phones for that for, for a cheap price tag that I've ever used. The form factor, the cameras are good. I would go over, I would go with the G-Stylus over the G-Power. That's just my personal opinion. We haven't seen the 24 model of the G-Stylus yet. But hopefully, when it, whenever they bring it, they bring it. You know what I'm saying? So to me, from what I've heard from other people, the 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 the, the stylus is a better phone than the power. Um, but I heard the power was no slouch. But the stylus, you get the benefit of a stylus. You know. Um, are the rolling live streams the ones where you were in your car? Well, uh, I, I'm guessing. Um, I always just cut well I, I used to stream from my car but I was always stationary there was a few times where I would drive and live stream at the same time but that will probably never happen again unless it's something like urgent and I want to live stream it and I'm driving then maybe yeah but right now I don't see it happening um among gangsta says that has been cool catching up with you bro you know who this is? Can't wait to get the get the boost. Oh, I know who that. Okay, I know who you are now since you said that. Um, yeah, man, you gotta let me know how it is. I live in a four member house and we use the internet twenty four seven when we go through. Well, if you get uh, yeah yeah four members of your house and only one internet, you know it's typical to go over one point two terabytes. You know what I'm saying? I remember when 512 was a lot of data. Yeah, and it still is. You know, I did, unfortunately, have to scale back to half that on the 24 Ultra. My 22 Ultra had 512 gigs. This has 256. But the reason why I went with 256 is because I have 512 in my OnePlus, my OnePlus 12. And I make a lot of content with this phone. And a lot of y'all probably don't even know that a lot of my content is coming from this very phone right here because I record in 4K 30 or 4K 60 and, the, and to me, the videos are phenomenal. I have yet to make a video 
using this phone yet. Um, but I'm going to do that here soon. With my probably with my next video is going to be with this phone right here. So yeah. Um, one terabyte isn't that much these days. Well, I mean, it takes up a it it takes a lot of a lot of data. Well, not data, but it, I mean, if you're talking about internal storage on a phone, one terabyte is way more than enough, you know. But if you're talking about internet, one terabyte ain't a whole lot, no. Motorola is better than Samsung these days. I have to disagree um, to a, to to an extent because. You know, Motorola is horrible, horrible when it comes to updates. Now, I'm now y'all have watched my videos enough to where I do not harp and harbor on updates, but I do like security patches. Now, if I got a phone running on Android version 12, Android 13, I don't really mind that so much. But when it comes down to, you know, security patches, I do want to be up to date. I do want to have some stuff taken care of if there's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Samsung is really bringing it, you know, now they're not, they really, they really didn't bring it with their A series this year, you know, having the A55 not available in the U S uh, it works in the U S but you got to order it and, and have it brought over. Um, you know, and it does run the ACNOS 1480 as opposed to the A54's 1380, which I got the A54. And I love it, but it is choppy and under heavy usage. It is, you want to throw it. But, I mean, as far as the A54 and A55, there's very little difference. Very, very little difference. And their A15 is garbage. Their A25, I'm not sure about. And the A35, I've heard mixed reviews about. So, their S-Series are on point. Their A-Series this year, a little questionable. I've used 43 gigabytes on my phone data, and that's nothing. Nah, that's not a whole lot. Make a video in 144 format. Just kidding. Yeah, 144. Oh, my goodness. We're going back to, like, 2011 days now. Um, I hear you, Chris. Does the Pixel 8 Pro support 4K HDR? I should know this, but I don't know this. Um, I can't check it because I'm actually on the Pixel 8 Pro right now. On this live stream, let me know what you're thinking about the quality. Um, how is the quality? How is the sound? Chris said it sounded good and looked good. So um, let me know what y'all think of the quality and the audio. And uh, I would appreciate it. And I think that nine people watching right now in the middle of the night is pretty awesome. So thank y'all for you know clicking on this live stream. I sure do appreciate it. But I will let you know, Chris, if the Pixel 8 Pro does support 4K HDR. I think it does. I think it does support it. I mean, this is a top top level flagship phone, no matter what anybody says. Um, what's up? Um, I ordered a brand new OnePlus Nord N200 on eBay for 80 bucks. Unfortunately, not unlocked. I found a brand new Samsung A32 unlocked on eBay for 99. That's not bad. That's not a bad deal at all, man. What's up, Alan567? Just happened to be woke about to plug my uh, 2020 Moto G stylus to charge and start notification. Keep going, big brother. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Mega says, did I own a BlackBerry way back in the day? I own several BlackBerries. Um, I, own the Bla I, I own two BlackBerry Curves. My favorite BlackBerry was the BlackBerry BlackBerry Tour 9630 on Verizon. I used that thing until it just until it was almost wore out. I love BlackBerry. I wish BlackBerry was still around. Um, you know, maybe a bit different than it was back in the day, but I love BlackBerry. I I did. I mean, it was so awesome. I love the keyboards. I love the way it worked. And um, yeah, so yeah, I own a couple. I own several. Blackberries. No, I never used the Blackberry Storm. Never did. Never did. I want to tell you what I think right now is one of the most underrated phone makers right now. 
that everyone should really pay attention to, and that's nothing. The nothing phone, okay, if you want, um, if you want lights, <laughs> I know it seems gimmicky to some, but honestly, this is just a bonus, okay? When you plug it in, down here is a charging indicator. It does do different effects. You make your own ringtones. It does go to your ringtones. And, I mean, I know it's gimmicky, but it's innovation. It's, to, to me, it's innovation. And that's something we're not seeing a, we're not seeing a lot of nowadays. Um, so I think that nothing is severely underrated. And this is the Nothing Phone 1. If you can find one of these phones for a really good price and looking for a phone. Now, these are not specifically made for the U.S. either. Now, I'm going numb for some reason. My legs, I can't even feel my legs. Um, give me just one second here as I try to wake my legs up. Because I can't even feel them right now. Not being real about that. This is the part about, this is the rough part about sitting on a hard floor and not having any kind of like gaming chair or no cushion. Everything goes to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You love phone gimmicks. I do too. You know, even if they fail and even if they're not really um, beneficial, I still think that the innovation try, like LG. LG tried a lot of innovation and failed. But, you know... You, you know, if you don't succeed, try again. Uh, but I think that L, but with LG, their reputation was just so damaged that it was just no coming back. And I wish they were still around. I didn't like LG very much, but I love their innovation. And some of their newer phones were pretty awesome. So, I wish LG would release another wing. Yeah, you know, I would love to buy an LG wing. And you can buy them for like $300 right now, unlocked, brand new. Um, it's a little rich for my blood right now. If if I could get me one, I would I would definitely buy one. You know, I've considered buying an LG Velvet, an LG V60. Um, there's, a lot, there's creators out there right now that uses an LG V60. And it does a phenomenal, awesome job, you know. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people, you know, want to go in for those high-end cameras, you know, the thousand, two thousand dollar cameras. But a lot of creators out there, including myself, only use a cell phone for everything. I mean, I use this phone right here for everything on my channel. Everything, you know, I use this along with the Microsoft Surface Duo One. Um, if I want to edit, you know, the like the, the ad breaks and the end cards, end screen stuff like that. Um, so I do use the Surface Duo for that because it's got the foldable open and it's a lot bigger canvas and it's much faster than my old computer. But everything is ran from this phone. So yeah. That's the one with two screens. It's the one where the screen flips out. It looks like a T. Like a, like a T-shape. It's awesome. Awesome design. They made one back in the 2000s called the LG Wing, I think it was called. But it was before, before smartphones. Also, I want to give a thanks to this. It's not running right now because it's not really hot. It's not, it's not really hot in here. But this is the Jisoo Life fan. If y'all have heard of it, let me know. Uh, the Jisoo Life fan, they're around twenty five bucks, and they're a five speed. And this thing's right here. Oh man, on a hot on a warm day, this little this little fan right here. I got it sitting here in case it gets hot in here. But right now it's pretty comfortable. But these right here are really cool little fans. They're Jisoo Life. You can get them on Amazon. And I recommend them if you want a small fan that puts out a little punch. If you can be out somewhere, yeah. Does the battery, how long does the battery last? About, about, about four hours. About four hours is what it average. Now, on, if you got it on Max 5, 
not really sure, but I know it says around. I know from what I read, from what I read, around four hours of usage. So pretty good for something so small. It's got. I think it's got. I, I, mm -hmm. My speech is getting off again. Just hang on one second. The speeds is a um, the uh, milliamp hour battery is around four thousand milliamp hour battery. So that kind of a battery size, a little bitty fan, about four to five hours. If you had it on low the whole time, you might even get more than that. Um, the V60 you can get with dual screens. I have the LG G8X that came with a dual screen as well. Yeah, a little milli yellow tonight. I haven't had much today, so I thought I'd drink a little bit tonight. Uh, how long does the battery last yet? But then answer that question. But the LG V60, you know, I got the V50. I got the LG V50. And the V50 was a good phone, but the cameras were... If I was recording right now, if I was live right now from the V50 with this lighting, it would be super grainy, horribly grainy. Um, but the V60 took care of all that. And so the V60 was a whole lot, was a, was just a beast when it came, um, you know, to the cameras. And if I could buy a brand new V60 unlocked Verizon model um, for a good price, I would probably be very tempted to pick one up. Um, but they're around $200, so they're not that expensive. Uh, but finding a Verizon unlocked model is... They're becoming harder and harder to find. You know. If y'all hear this fan noise, I apologize. It's getting a little bit warm in here now. That's on speed one. Can y'all hear the fan in the background blowing? It shouldn't be too awful bad or too annoying to hear. So I got seven people watching and six likes. Thank y'all for liking. If you're in here and haven't hit, the, hit that like button yet, be sure to hit the like button. Also, thanks to Jesse for the donation super chat. It helps out a whole lot, and I really do appreciate it. I need 12 people to sign up for Visible <laughs> and use my code. That would also help me as well. All right, Chris. I should be, I'm not going to be on here very long tonight. Uh, I was on for an hour and a half on the last live stream, and it was a disaster. Um, I want to be on tonight. This battery here is about 70% battery, so uh, I did give it a little bit of a charge before I decided to go live. And so, yeah. If I, and I'm trying to keep my eyes on the, on the camera and not on the screen. That just looks weird. But it's really hard to keep your eyes on the camera at all times. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, what do y'all think about the Pixel 9? Uh, do, you, do you think there's going to be a Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, and a Pixel 9 XL? I hope so. Uh, or a Pixel 9 Pro XL? I sure hope so. Uh, I would love to have a Pixel 8 size uh, in, a, in a Pro. Um because, in my opinion, that would just be awesome. I don't want to be silent in the stream. I hope for Amazon. Are you, are you hope for Amazon to release a new phone? Yeah. I know they made a phone a while back, but it really didn't go very, very far. if I missed any uh, questions I don't think I did so yeah um, not much on my mind tonight really um, just basically answering questions and just trying to uh, if y'all see my last video um, I was gonna have a, a, a speed test comparison released yesterday um, Saturday but things came up and I just did not have the video completed. Uh, the video was completed, but once you upload it, you know, 
having to add in everything. I really did not have time to do everything before the day ended. And I don't like releasing videos late at, late, late in the evening or in the night because it's just a bad time. Uh, for Of course, if you're a bigger YouTuber um, with a high follow count, it really doesn't matter if you upload at 3 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon. You're going to get good views. But um, for some reason, my notifications just don't go out. Um, I mean, you can look at my video that I've done. Uh, what was it? It was the uh, Bluetooth uh, from... Um, who was it by? It was um, the Tagri uh, wireless head uh, wireless earbuds. You know, I got like forty one views in the past two days on that video, and I'm sitting at thirty seven, right at thirty seven thousand subscribers. So you look at thirty seven thousand subscribers, and you look at forty one views. You know, something's going on there. Something's wrong there, and um, it's a shame. And it's, it's unfortunate, you know? Um, so, how many uh, seen my tweet? And that's why you're here now. Because uh, I put it on Twitter. And uh, I wasn't sure if anybody had seen it on Twitter. And came from there or got notified through YouTube notifications. Carol Peanut Butter. Carol peanut butter. The problem I have with OnePlus phone is the wide wide vine level is two or three, so no streaming high def content. Well, I'm not sure what OnePlus device you're using, but I can watch 4K on my OnePlus 12. Um, I can watch 4K all day long, which I, which of course is a quad HD display. Uh, Mr. Carol wear. I thought it was Mr. Carol wear. Okay, I, I I was trying to get your I was trying to remember your name, uh, but I did, but if it was somebody different, I didn't want to confuse. Uh, notified by YouTube, awesome, awesome. So I'm not really sure what you're meaning or what kind of phone you have from OnePlus, but you know I have the OnePlus Nord N30. That's their that's their budget phone. This also can re I can watch in 1440. So I'm not really sure what you're talking about, honestly, because every OnePlus phone I've ever used, I can watch in 4K, 1440, 1080, 720, whatever the case may be. So if you're not being able to watch in 1440 or or 4K, supposedly upscaled 4K, then it may be your internet can support it. Well, I have the Nord N10 5G, which is one of their really old phones that can also watch in 1440 and, and even 4K. I think 4K, at least 1440, which is still Quad HD or 2K without any issues. So, you know, it could be the fact that it's just your internet. I, I, mean, I mean, I have used some pretty old OnePlus devices. Now, I have not used... Now, as far as the OnePlus One or OnePlus Two or OnePlus, you know, all those older ones from like way back yonder, they may not have had that support. But I, but the oldest OnePlus I've had was the OnePlus Nine, and I could I could watch 4K on it no problem, and every phone since then. Well, Mr. Carol Ware, um, or Carol Peanut Butter, um, what, which OnePlus device did you have? I'm curious. It's funny to watch the, the people in the stream. It jumps from like four to like nine to like six down to four again now, and then it'll jump up again. And now it's down to three. <laughs> Uh, that's depressing when you start seeing numbers fall. Whenever you see numbers go up, well, now what the One Plus Three came out many years ago, and that may just be in its max resolution that you can watch in, okay? Because um, that was a very old phone. I mean, see, that's also something that I want to address is that you can't judge all the new phones based on a very old phone. You know, someone will look at a some will look at an LG from like 2011, 2012 and say, 
I would never use LG phones again, but their newer phones were really good. Or Samsung had really, you know, may have had really bad phones back in the day, but now they're phenomenal. So you can't really judge the OnePlus devices now if your only OnePlus device was a OnePlus 3. Because I've had the Nord devices, the N10, the N30, the OnePlus 10 Pro, OnePlus 11, OnePlus 12, OnePlus 9. And they all can watch in 1080, 1440, 4K. Yeah, you'll probably never see LG make phones again. I heard LG sold out to Oppo. And they're mobile. To, in, in, in mobile. I'm not really sure about the... Uh, all of the details about that, but I did hear that LG did something with Oppo, which basically is OnePlus, you know? And <laughs> another argument that I want to make is there are so many people out there who are against Chinese phones. They're like, I would never buy a Chinese phone like from, from like OnePlus. OnePlus is a Chinese manufacturer. But this is a top phone, and and you know the and the way I counter it is this, I'm you know if they say I would never buy a Chinese phone, I say do you use Motorola? Oh, I love Motorola. I say okay, you're buying a Chinese phone because Motorola is made by Lenovo and Lenovo is a Chinese based company, <laughs> and that pretty much shuts them up. Yes, the new blue phones work good. Uh, I think it is the uh, Blue Bold N something. Okay, N3. Phenomenal phone. Phenomenal phone. Uh, works great. Just don't have any cases for it. And that's unfortunate. So if you're here and you haven't smashed that like button yet, be sure to smash that like button as it makes my videos go into the algorithm a little, a lot easier and a lot better. And Lord knows I need the, uh, the views <laughs> and the likes. So not trying to beg for likes here, but you know, everyone likes likes on their videos. So, um, I don't have no shame asking for a like. I mean, I'm not sitting here begging for donations or super chats. Uh, of course, they're always welcome, but I don't see. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and beg for them. But I have no shame begging for likes. So, because <laughs> um, everybody, everybody says the same thing. So, thanks to whoever just hit the like button. I sure appreciate it. Um, be a yes. The the. That's like that's that's a, that's another example. People will look at the old blue phones from like Walmart for like forty dollars and say they're trash, but they haven't used anything new, you know, from blue and the, like the like the blue bold N three. I think it's called the N three, and even the N two is a phenomenal phone. They they both work great. The displays are out of this world beautiful for the price. The cameras, they sacrifice in the camera department. No stabilization, so it's real shaky and everything. But if you want, but there's been times that, you know, I've tested out in good lighting and them cameras are really, really solid and the performance is really good as well. So you can't count out a lot of phones. One of my favorite budget to mid-range phones right now is the is from New Mobile, the New Mobile uh, B30 Pro 5G. Using it right now on Visible on the Verizon network, and it's not even supposed to work on Verizon, uh, but it is. And um, I love that phone. I've had my Visible SIM card in that phone ever since I've got it, and it works really, really good. And if you missed the part about visible, I ha I'll have it down below. In the, I have my links down below in the description, um, and you can also you can also check out the visible portion of this live stream if you want to try out a new carrier for get your first month for only five dollars. You got nothing to lose. 
Um, if you're thinking about changing your carrier and you want to say, hey, I want to give Verizon a try or, or get Visible a try and just see how the, the data is, see how the signal is, $5 for your first month if you use my promo code or referral code. Just make sure that you push the apply button. If you click my link, I will add my Visible link in the description after I end this live stream. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add it right now. If it, if it will allow me to, uh, I can't, okay, I can't, so, but after this video is over here, so what do y'all think of the quality right now? All I have on, all I have right now is a ring light behind me. Uh, I may mention earlier that I have different settings. Here is the cool setting. Uh, here is a normal setting and here is the warmer set the warmer setting I kind of like the warmer setting better. It just gives a better tone in my personal opinion and uh, But give me your opinion on the audio Can you hear the fan in the background the fans right over there blowing? Can you hear the fan blowing? Um, quality is good. Thank you, uh, Carol. I appreciate that but you know, I'm not the, and the microphone is right there so it's not plugged in to the pixel tonight uh i decided to leave it unplugged and i'm just using this straight microphone from the pixel 8 pro also a phenomenal phone and uh the cameras are just top notch on this pixel 8 pro um the, some of the fastest shutter speeds and some of the best everything looking good good setting good audio well, I wouldn't really say a good set, and I got a, just a plain wall behind me with a closet. You know, I want to get a desk because I got a lot of really cool wall decor. Um, of course, I, I got a lot of good Fallout stuff, some some phones um, that are like older phones that are still brand new. I want to hang up on the wall, um, headset stuff like that. Just some. Just some de just some decals and decor that I have in the background is why I want a desk to where I can just sit at a desk like a professional and you know but right now I do not have any room so that's why I'm sitting on a very hard floor and it's and I'm going numb so yeah just letting y'all know that uh, how fast do you pixel charge it's got a thirty it's, well the Pixel Eight Pro and the Pix, yeah, Pixel 8 Pro charges at 30 watts, so it takes a, it takes over an hour from 0% to 100% to fully charge. It does have wireless charging as well, um, so 30 watts is not a whole lot, but honestly, you know, I prefer something at 30 watts or 45 watts because if you charge a phone 80 watts, 100 watts all the time, I don't care what anyone says, it's going to degrade the battery. It's just going to degrade the battery over time, you know, and a whole lot faster than something that charges at 30 at thirty watt or 40 watt or even 50 watt. It would be like the max I'd want, to, I'd want to charge all the time. No Chinese phones for me, not even Motorola. Hey, that's anybody's preference, you know what I'm saying? But just letting you know, every single phone out there is made in China. Just letting you know that. Battery life is not the greatest on the Pixel 8 Pro. Um, my Samsung does better. My OnePlus does way better. Um, Pixel 8 Pro does get adequate battery life, but I wouldn't say it's the best. I would say out of Samsung, OnePlus, and the, the Google Pixel, the Google Pixel would come in last. Because I got the OnePlus 12 with the 8 Gen 3, and the battery life on this thing is superior. The S24 Ultra, 8 Gen 3, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Now you got a 50, you, you got a 5,400 milliamp hour battery in here, and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here. And so the battery is far superior in here. Just my personal, just out, out, out of my personal usage. But the S24 Ultra is also definitely no slouch. Um, and then I would say the pixel would be third place. Um, but of course it all depends on how you use your phone. If you use it very heavily, 
you know, I don't care. And you know, you know, I'm hearing a lot of negativity about about Google Pixel nowadays. I don't listen to them, and neither should y'all. Honestly, um, you know, whenever they got a short news day or have no news day, they want to bash the Google Pixel, and so that's why I don't pay attention to what they say because I know they're just um, they're not being paid off by Google, basically. So, you know, they don't have, they're not going to say all the nice things they're going to say about Samsung and, and Apple. Because uh, most of the time, if you're a big content creator or a big channel, you're getting paid off by those companies. So, just kind of giving you my thoughts on that. Um, the pictures and night pictures, the videos at night are phenomenal. They're phenomenal. They're some of the best around. Um... I don't think you have any complaints or any or, or any concerns about picture quality and low light. Um, of course, you know, it ain't going to be the greatest. I don't care what phone you have. You know, nighttime shots are going to be a little, depends on how steady your hand is, how much patience you have to take a photo. But the Pixel 8 Pro does have video boost at night, especially. And it really brings stuff to life, even though it takes forever and a day. It's like it's like one minute of video takes like an hour for it to actually finish um, in the video boost. So I, I've never tried it before. I want to try it, but uh, I have nothing really negative and nothing really bad to say about the Pixel 8 or the 8 Pro, um, like some others have made videos about here recently about the about every little nick picking thing wrong with this that or the other you know um so that's just my thoughts on that i think pixel will be will be next phone i mean you know that's completely up to you um i like i say i have recommended about four people to pixel four people have bought pixels and four people love pixels now you know, where a phone they've never heard of before, you know, based on my recommendations that I know personally have bought pixels based on my recommendations and they have never one time regretted it. I mentioned they should buy something newer or something different sometimes to see what their reaction is. No, we love our pixels. So, you know, it's only the techie people who find everything to nitpick about the pixels and want to talk trash about every little thing that they don't that they may not do right but if you put this phone right here okay if you are just an average user who uses Instagram Twitter takes pictures makes phone calls uses any kind of app that you want to use between the Pixel 8 Pro, a phone like this OnePlus, this Samsung Galaxy, you're not going to see really any difference in performance. Yes, it runs the Tensor G3. Okay. Is it the best processor in the world? Absolutely not. We know that, you know, that I wish they went I wish that they went back to Snapdragon. But don't believe everyone when they say that this processor is no good or it's slow the only the only thing this phone struggles with is gaming if you play graphically intensive games yes this phone will not compete with a one plus 12 or a galaxy or a galaxy s23 ultra 24 ultra it won't compete with those phones in heavy gaming but really if you want a game buy a gaming console you know what i'm saying or buy a portable portable PlayStation or something or, or something like that or a Nintendo switch or something like that you know don't rely on these phones and these crappy games on phones you know but other than that for every day-to-day -day usage pixel is just as good as anything else is don't believe all the techies that won't just that mainly won't views I mean we all won't views but you know if there's anything to spread negative about pixel and i'll be the first one to tell you is being part of team pixel and being sent these phones you know i was sent the pixel 8 pro and i shout out team pixel for that 
I personally bought the Pixel 8. So I bought it with my own money. And I would actually recommend the Pixel 8 as much as I would the 8 Pro. Um, because they're both, they, they, they both run very, very well. And yes, you may not, you may not be going to be going, you may not going to be getting, you know, all of the AI features. I don't care about AI. If y'all care about AI, that's, that's fine. Um, AI for like camera stuff and stuff like that. I'm, I'm cool with but a lot of this bull crap coming out here about AI is getting too advanced. And honestly, I think it's, I think they're playing with fire. But, um, you know, but where you're going to see the pixel shine is all the features that it can do and, you know, what other phones can't, you know. And I think it's kind of a smart strategy what they're doing, you know, with, they, you know, they offered VPNs to Samsung and everybody else who subscribed to Google One and now they're taking it away. I think, I think that's a good power play. I think it's a good play for them to get people interested in pixels saying look what we offer on our phones but we're gonna we're gonna charge you on samsung but now we're gonna pull out the rig off money to say okay no more you can't you can't have this anymore and so i really believe that by doing that it's kind of a smart move the vpn services and all that stuff that you get on the pixels you know is nice to have and they was offering it it was offering it was google one subscriptions to samsung one plus whoever or any other company who subscribed to it they were offering their vpn service but now they're going to take it away so i think it's a power move um for people for to get people to come over to pixel and i don't blame them every other company does it so why shouldn't google you know people want to blast google for it but hey Every company does the same crap. So, I mean, you know, why? Yeah. Laptop, why I game on? Yeah, if you want to, if you want to game, get a laptop, get an Xbox, get a PlayStation, get a Switch, get a PS Portable or whatever the case or, or, or whatever. Don't, don't, I mean, the, the games on these phones are, are, are crap anyway. So, I mean, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm going numb again. So just give me a second here. I'm trying to um, unnumb myself. This floor is very, very hard. There's no padding on this floor. So uh, I'm trying to keep myself from going completely numb where I can't even feel below my knees. So yeah. Um, okay, technology, man. Since I gave Chinese phone from TCL a try. It's gotten like five security updates in three and a half years. Well, man, that's TCL. I wouldn't recommend T these newer TCL phones to anyone. Um, the best TCL phone ever made was the TCL 20 Pro 5G that I still own. And it's still a phenomenal phone. But their 30 series, their 40 series, I wouldn't give you two cents for them. Um, if you, you, if you chose TCL to try out as a Chinese company, you picked the wrong company. Point blank. Enough said. And, and also thinking that they're upgrading their Chinese spy software. I ain't worried about the Chinese okay the government and the u.s government does that enough they know more about you and what you do with on your phones and everything else so i mean yeah none of us none of us good none of us right but you know whatever only game i play on phones candy crush angry birds 2 and plants planets is it plants versus zombies or planets versus zombies i thought it was plants versus zombies but i could be wrong So yeah, like I said, technology man. If you choose, if you chose TCL as a company to choose to see how their phones are, you picked the wrong one. You should have went OnePlus. 
<laughs> one plus <laughs> um one plus makes them really good phones and um while they don't get the software updates like google and samsung you know um like even the one plus 12 gets like bi-monthly security updates which is good enough you don't have to have updates every single month. I mean, most of them doesn't do anything anyway. It's just a security patch. But everybody has made it such a big deal. Oh, we must have our security patches on this day, on this month, every single month. It's, it's, it's stupid. I, I, I mean, this is a real channel. I use real language, and if people don't, and if people can't take my, if people can't take my honesty and my language, this channel ain't for you. So I'm just gonna say it because I, I speak the truth, and if people like it, they like it. If they hate it, then they can, you know, they, they ain't gotta watch. Um, because I'm real, and I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna always be real. That's the point of my channel, is being real. And. If you think that getting monthly security patches is important, unless something is a vulnerability and it requires an update, I don't see nothing wrong with bi-monthly or even quarterly security patches. Because really, what are you really fixing? Unless there is a problem with Bluetooth or there's a problem with Wi-Fi or there's a known problem with something like that, then yes, I can understand pushing out an update with the, you know, with the, with the latest, you know, um, security patch. I can understand that completely. But to just put out an update every month just because, I think it makes no sense. And I think it's just, I, I, I just don't think it's necessary. You can disagree, any of y'all can disagree with me, and that's fine. We can all agree to disagree. We're not gonna. We all we're not gonna see eye to eye on different on, on everything, and that's just fine. Cause we all have our own opinions and our own thoughts. But to me, for people to sit there and literally whine and complain about Pixel not releasing, listen, my Galaxy S twenty two Ultra when I got rid of it just had gotten the April security patch, and that was in that was in the middle of April. Okay, I don't care how many phones Samsung has gotten, or, or how many Samsung, how many Samsung phones, how many Samsung phones there are. They should push the updates out to a phone that ain't but two years old, a flagship Ultra. Uh, security patch. Let's see. Security patch every month eats up phone storage. Well, sometimes it actually frees up phone storage. I've seen it before where I've actually gained a gig of storage back with a security patch. Uh, mostly on iPhones, I've, I've, I've seen that. But I have also seen it on Android phones as well. So it does not really eat up a whole lot of data or a whole lot of internal storage. Um, but some could, you know, like with, with Google Pixel with the feature drops every three months. Um you know, they're going to give you a new feature drop of this, that, or the other. And if it comes out a week later than expected, people whine and cry about it. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. You know, and there's still some that hasn't got the April security patch yet. And all of my pixels didn't get it either. Okay. Um, when April came around, not my Pixel 8 Pro, the 8, the 7, the 6A, the 5A, all of those did not get no security patches at all. It was it was forever before it got it. I swiped in my visible SIM card from Verizon, and every single one of them popped up. Update, update, update. Verizon was pushing them out. I don't know why Google wasn't pushing them out, but Verizon was pushing them, pushing them out. So it just takes a little bit sometimes, and just because we're in, we are so conditioned now to have everything our way. I mean, it's, you know, you got to kind of realize that <clears throat> they'll get it out when they get it out. I would rather take it, I would rather Samsung, OnePlus, Google take an extra week to push the update out and have the update right than just push it out on a certain day because everybody expects it to be out on that day and it'd be full of bugs. 
I mean, I'm sure most of y'all can agree with me on that, at least, you know. You do like TCO TVs? Yeah, I've heard TCO TVs are really good. Um, I have um, a Hisense TV that I haven't even I haven't even hooked up yet. Um, I have a Philips TV that is made by the company Funai over in Japan that I had for going on six years now and used the crap out of this TV, leaving it on 24 hours a day sometimes. Now, I don't watch it 24 hours a day, but I will leave it on 24 hours a day just because I just, my, my mode control barely works. I'm afraid if I turn it off, I won't get it cut back on again. So I just leave the TV on for 24 hours a day, every day, and it's it's been putting out putting out like a like a like a trooper for almost six years now, but I did buy a bigger QLED high sense, more more up to more up to date. I just haven't set it up yet or hooked it up yet, but it's coming soon, you know. Um, and I'm I'm really hoping it's going to be a you know better quality or better picture quality than this Philips here was. Is this Phillips was is this this Phillips TV had really good picture quality, but I have seen a whole lot better. So, yeah. But high sense, all of them are Chinese. Like I said, the majority of stuff you see today is Chinese made. I mean, you buy an iPhone, yeah, it's designed in California, but it's made in China. You know, um, Samsung, I believe that they're made in like uh, Vietnam. Uh, some are made in South Korea. Some are made in China. Uh, pixels are made in China. You know, basically every phone out here today is made in China. So, I mean, all they got to do is put their software in there, sneak it in there. So, so that's all they got to do with any phone. So, is any phone really safe? Do I really care? No. How many of y'all use TikTok? If y'all use TikTok, then y'all you're giving the Chinese all your information anyway. So I mean, there you go. But the chats have really slowed down, and I ain't got much else to say. Uh, I got nine people watching. I got nine likes. Thank y'all uh, for everybody who's watching. Thanks for all the likes, and thanks, thank you, Jesse, for the donation of two dollars. I really appreciate that. Helps me out a whole lot. Um, I do appreciate it. I'm going to cut this off in about another 5 or 10 minutes. If nothing else comes through. Uh, or if no, no other conversation you know, sparks off. Uh, 10 likes. Thank you very much. You just Whoever just pushed the like button. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah. you know, I enjoy these live streams. Unfortunately, I want to do them earlier. I don't want to be doing these insomniac live streams all the time. Uh, I do want to do earlier live streams, but a lot of times I'm just not able to to find the time to do these earlier like I would like to like to be able to do. But you know, I think I thank y'all. I really do thank y'all more than y'all ever know for joining in my live streams this time of the night over into the morning you know hours you know uh to listen to me talk and you know i i, I sincerely enjoy answering your questions um that's why i'm going to be doing these um viewer comments if you haven't seen that video yet it's on my channel it's called uh, reading viewer comments um, I'm not actually reading viewer comments in that video, but I'm elaborating more on the shorts video that I made about talking about viewer comments. And I'm going to be explaining about what I'm going to be doing, the uh, how how long I'll be, you know, um, what you know what it's going what it's going to consist of, and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that will bring more engagement to the channel. If it does not, I will just continue that series as well. Um, I will try it for a few weeks. I will see how it does and if it picks up and begins to get a lot of traction i'll keep on doing it but if you haven't watched it then yeah go back go and check it out um hey cv can you do the night walmart live stream like you used to and wear your shades um the, unfortunately walmart is not open 24 hours anymore um if they were open 24 hours i would um but ever since this pandemic 
you know, back in 2020 happened and um, everything shut down. Walmart shut down their 24 hour, um, you no know, 24 hour. Cause I used to love going down to Walmart at like two in the morning, three in the morning and just looking around. And before I went to Walmart or after I went to Walmart, I would always do a car live stream. And so, you know, I live quite a ways from the city. So it takes a, it takes some gas to, you know, and some time to leave where I live at, which is way down in the sticks, drive all the way up into town, you know, park, get everything set up, have the LED lights going, you know, and start up a live stream and stream for an hour, two, even three hours, and then have to drive back home in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night where I could risk hitting a deer or I could risk hitting, uh, you know, all these animals um, and then having, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It, it, there's a lot more that goes into it than just hopping in the car, driving and going. There's a lot of work that goes into it for those car streams. So um, I'm going to try to do a few of those here and there. But just do not expect them very, very often. And, 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 you know, now that it's getting summertime, it's getting to be beyond hot already here, you know, then um, I won't be doing any kind of like daytime streams out, out in public either. Um, unless it's a really nice cool day where it's raining and like 60s for the high, something like that, then I might do something like that. But um, cause I did, I did on occasion do the daytime live streams when I was out and about, but I will try technology, uh, technology, man. I will try sometimes or every once in a while. Uh, yeah, I mean something like eight or nine o'clock at night, you know, uh, it's not a really good time for me cause I got a lot, cause a lot of times around, around, around that time is, um, just trying to get everything situated for the night. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was a lot younger when I done those nighttime live streams. I'm getting older now and things are changing. <laughs> you know, you know how, I mean, I don't, you know, things change. What's up, Everything Tech? How's it going? Thank you for joining in. Did you see my notification or did you see this on Twitter or... I've been on for about an hour and 12 minutes and fixing to wrap this up here in about five minutes. Um, I think that YouTube just sends out notifications really, really late. If I wanted to stream for like three hours, I would probably triple my views right now. Um, cause they would just gradually push out notifications. I do believe even though it is the middle of the night, I have seen 24, 25, viewers at this time of the night before um oh you've been watching okay cool 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 awesome so yeah i will try to do a live a, a nighttime live stream you know maybe like once a month you know um around maybe 10 11 p.m you know eastern time um I'm not making any promises, but I will try to do it at least once a month, maybe, of doing a special office live stream in the car, like I used to do. But still, no promises on that. Um, I will, but of course, if you if you're on Twitter and you're not following me on there, follow me on there. <laughs> uh, I announce a lot of times when I'm going to go live what time I'm going to go live. Um, and I also share a lot of things to Twitter. So if you, if you're on Twitter and you're not following me, links are down below in the description and I will be updating my links. As soon as this live stream is over, I will be put, I will be putting my visible link in there. Um, which I'll be, I'm going to start putting it in every one of my videos. Um, I just really wish that they hadn't have had to make you push the apply button to apply the $20 promo credit uh, where they used to um, apply automatically. Now you got to apply it manually 
in order to get that $20 credit, which I think is so stupid for Visible to change that. But I will be updating my description on these videos, on these live streams for my Instagram. Because uh, I'm, I'm only on Instagram and Twitter. What's up, Sean White? How's it going? Thanks for joining in. I'm fixing to actually jump off here in just about five more minutes. Oh, we just, we just woke up for work. Oh, early morning work time. I hear you. Well, good morning to Sean White and good morning to every one of y'all. But uh, I'm going to start wrapping this up because I'm tired of going numb. <laughs> Literally, I'm tired of going numb. And uh, this floor is like, yeah, this floor does not give and give any protection whatsoever. Yeah, Chris, I'm fixing to wrap this up here. Just a couple. I'm actually, wrap, I'm actually gonna wrap it up now. But uh, like I said earlier, thanks for the likes. I got ten likes. Thank you so much for everyone who hit the like button. Everyone who came in. Everyone who chatted with me. And we can chat and give our opinions and our thoughts. And um, it's really awesome. Yes, I work. Yeah, I work on Sundays. It sucks. Yeah, I'm sure it does, man. All right, take care, Sean White. Have a good day at work, man. But um, thanks for the likes. Thanks for the uh, thanks. Thank you, Jesse, again for the donation. Um, I do appreciate it a lot. And be sure and check out my videos, my past videos. If you haven't seen my past videos, be sure and check those out. And also smash that like button on them as it helps that out as well. Um, you know, if you haven't seen, just look through my category of my recent past videos. And if there's any you haven't seen yet, just, yeah, hit, hit, hit them up, hit them up. You know, if you want to, no pressure, just, you know, just kind of, uh, throwing that out there. But, um, anyway, um, we're going to wrap this up. Thanks to everyone who joined in. I sure do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the for the next live stream. I will announce it on Twitter. I was going to announce it in a community post, but I just simply forgot this time to do it. Uh, I, I want to try to announce it like 30 minutes or an hour prior. Prior. <laughs> Is that even a word? No, it ain't. No, it's not a word. Um, I'm going to try to announce it on a community post 30 minutes to an hour prior to um when i go live so everyone can see it and be looking be on the lookout for it so all right have a good day chris and i'll see you later or i'll talk to you later um but yeah y'all have a good and everyone thanks everyone for joining in if you're watching the replay crew just push hashtag replay and uh, i sure would appreciate it and um if you're new here if you're watching the replay and you're new here Hit the like button, be sure and subscribe, and turn on that bell for all post notifications of live streams, unboxings, speed tests, reviews, whatever the case may be, and I sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.